This cell here, F7, contains a formula. The formula is E7 divided by E12. So it takes this large number here, the costing of um, heating and cooling in this case, and divides it by this total underneath. It's possible that this formula would be needed to be done for all the other items as well at a later stage. However, if this was copied, um, the formula would not work. That's because although the price for each item will change as we copy down the formula, the total cost here remains the same and it would always need to look in the same place. What the question is asking you to do is to add absolute cell referencing to one of the cells. Now that would be the total. If you're asked to do absolute cell referencing, what this means is you find the cell reference in the formula. In this case we have E12. Remember we're taking the cell reference for the total, not for just one of the individual items. And then to lock the cell, to make it absolute, we type the dollar sign either side of the letter. So it now becomes dollar $E, dollar $12. Click on the green tick to accept this change. You'll notice that nothing changes here with the value, but if you look at the next question, in the next video, you'll see what difference this will make.